so behind us you can see Darby Island. I don't know if you can quite see it, but the green castle back there. Okay, this was owned, gifted to Sir Guy Baxter by the King of England, right? but also a known Nazi sympathizer. 544-acre island, and he had goat farm and palm oil trees and all sorts of interesting stuff there. But the big controversy was during World War II, where, since he was a Nazi sympathizer, servants and other people reported seeing a lot of communications and radio equipment, and at night there were different lights. There's a very deep cut there. It's believed that German U-boats would come here to hide out from uh, Allied destroyers. So whether he was refueling them or whether it's all just a legend, nobody can say. But in about 1942, he disappears and is never heard from again. If you search this guy on the internet, you're going to find like a couple little snippets of this legend, but you're not going to probably find anything else. So nobody really knows what happened to the guy that built that castle. He just disappeared. So Carrie and I are here to find out the truth. And here we come. Out of the jungle appears a house. Oh, look at these steps. Definitely Germany steps. It probably says something in German. I don't understand it. Oh, but look here. There's the balcony where he would watch for U boats to come into harbor. Inside here, this must have been the kitchen. There's where they put Harry Potter. This was the main entry to the house we came around, like the staff entry or something. Oh, wow, look at that fireplace. Can you imagine seeing this place? Is that a, seems like good signs. There's the supporting members for the roof. Collapsed all down. I'm sure it'll be fine. Amazing bay window. Some of the door hardware's still on this closet door. This is one of the floors, the mosaic in the floor. And it's all built of like, it's like a terrazzo laid and the mortar joints are actually still perfect. The stone's worn away in some places, some, but to see if we can find some you know like uh, Nazi memorabilia or something around here to prove whether or not this place was and here in this bay would someone has been to work at the floor was it to unearth Secret treasure. One time, had a nice light. Oh, those are some old tiny electrical switches. Mm -hmm. 
there's a secret. stairs. <laughs> Here's making your way up the <laughs> questionable stairs. Here's where his, the balcony view was. A lot of dangerous soft spots here. So we'll tread carefully. Downstairs. Here we are atop the viewpoint. You can see Wayward Winds is uh, oh, it's out there. Right over here. Right over there. <laughs> here we are atop the death structure. We don't dare to go very far. Yeah, I don't really know what the history is, but it's it's cooler if it's got a fun story. And, uh, I'm going to take the U-boat captain story to the grave. If you, uh, this was a refueling station for them, especially with this beautiful lookout that he's got. I mean, this must have been a hell of a place. Uh, it's still a hell of a place, but back in his day, I mean, it's got hardwood floors, beautiful windows that all opened up and let a gentle Caribbean breeze in, and fireplaces for any night that it happened to get a little bit chilly. It, uh, it must have been a hell of a thing to see. soul into a few houses and uh, seen them either remodeled back from something or put them from the ground. You can only imagine the, the heartache that you know, whoever built this would feel if he'd seen it completely deteriorated to dust and what set of circumstances happened that you know, people just walked away from this property with furniture still in it and uh, just allowed the elements to completely ravage and take this over. It would be an interesting story. See if I can do some research and find anything out. And, uh, so, there's some links below. Check it out. Check it out. It's a cute little bird's nest. This is crazy cool. Oh, look at all that air plants over there. Yeah. Here in the cave of wonders, we wonder what horrors lurk in every little spot as a couple of bats have come out to say hi. And uh, the mosquitoes are trying to chew us to pieces. The ground is covered. These are. See those bats? She wants to go touch them because she loves wild things and rabies. 
I'm gonna stay out here with the courageous like you and just stay out here and monitor stuff. Make sure she makes it back all right. Carrie, get in there, hurry. Scare the bats out. So we can, people at home wanna see the bats. You guys wanna see the bats, right? I'm gonna go in here into the bat cave. <laughs> what was it? up here in this hole. Alright, I'm going because I don't like the mosquitoes. From the Batcave.